This short video is on creativity and different approaches to meditation that help creativity. There's a way of looking and approaching meditation that I think is very useful in relationship to the whole topic of creative thinking, creative being. And that is the way that one mind holds on to things. And there are a wide range of ways that one's mind can hold on. And the, very generally, I think that in, create, in the creative frame of mind, one is, has got a grip on something. One's got a grip on a general topic or a, a general area, uh, a general sort of continuity of, of experience, but one is holding it rather lightly. One is not grip, one's mind is not gripping it or too focused on it in a hard way. So this sort of very light but engaged sense of being with an experience or being with a train of thought or being with a creative activity can be stimulated by some very simple meditation methods. So in the first of this series, I talked about coming into a whole sense of yourself, coming into experience, what is here, feeling and sensing how you are right here, rather than having an observational narration. Now, that is the basis for this whole approach to creativity. On the basis of arriving into experience, you then start to get a sense of the mind as how it holds onto objects. So a very sort of simple and direct way of relating to this is awareness of the breath. And the reason that the breath is used as a, a way of getting engaged and noticing what the mind is like at any given time, is that the breath is very subtle. It can take on very obvious, very noticeable tendencies, and it can also be very light as well. And this correlates to qualities of mind. So if you start with obvious sensations of the breathing, the rhythm of the breath, that allows the more kind of obvious parts of your mind to engage. As you start to notice more subtle qualities of the breath, then that allows more subtle qualities of your awareness and mind to engage. And you notice more and more of a fine, subtle quality of the breath. And this puts you into a more fine, more open, fluid quality of mind. And this sort of fluid, more flowing, more open, engaged quality of mind is an essential aspect of being creative. So, on the basis of having come into a whole sense of yourself sitting here, you then start to direct yourself towards the awareness, of, first of all, of the body generally. And you just direct yourself with a very simple thought, the body. And your mind, your awareness, starts to come into a sense of the body. And then from there you say, the breath. And in that way, you start to direct your mind to noticing what the breath is like. What's happening with the breath? It's always going on, but we're not always very in touch with it. But in this, we start to get a sense of it. What it's like. Is it uh, panting or jerky and short? Or is it long and laboured? Or is it smooth? Is it rough? Is it flowing? Is it jumpy? 
Uh, is it very obvious? Is it easy to engage with or difficult? Uh, and you start to engage into the experience of the rhythm and the sensations and the quality of the breath. You start to get absorbed in the breath. And this in itself starts to give you the opportunity to notice how do you hold on to things? How are you holding on to the breath? Are you trying to control it? Are you being very hard and fixed in the way that you focus? Or are you sort of able to stay with the breath as it changes? You're holding some continuity of presence with the breath, but it's light. It's open to the changes. And this is very important in creativity being able to follow changes, having a fine sensitivity to how things change and staying with them. Fixity and rigidity and hard holding are not helpful to developing or staying in a creative frame of mind. So actually noticing how you focus on the breath can give you clues as to how you focus in on other things in your creative life. And you can start to adjust. Maybe you're too distant, not engaged enough, or you're too tight and too focused and too grasping onto what you do. Everything is too narrow. And you find a way of engaging, a way of relating to the breath, where you're there, you're definitely there or here, engaged with the experience, but it's lightly held and it's open and receptive at the same time.